Where's my nuts? Where's my nuts? Are we ready? Yes, sir. Let me take a quick sip. <clears throat> Liquid courage. <clears throat> Cheers, y'all. Alchemy. Oh, close your eyes. You need to close your Sorry. fucking eyes. He's like, please do it. Please effing do it. Well, well I'm, I ain't, I ain't Dude, I'm just trying to help you, just Bro. in case like you blink accidentally, because nah, that's nah, something nah. I would do. I would blink, and then it would be like the end of the universe. Stop. Dude, Stop. I got this thing. Dude, I did I, it oh so I could look at you. That's garbage. Should they do this? Holy look at that. Shit. Bro, yeah, just hit the all. episode. I'm not looking. I ain't doing it. Oh, in the sub, it's okay. But in dub, no, it's not. No, the sub was pretty bad, too. All right, we're good. I ain't begging. Law. I ain't Law. Big. All right, ready? <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Sam. And I'm Will, and we are Working Title. Oh my god. Last week it was really bad. Come on. <laughs> I was watching y'all were going at different paces. I was like, uh, I, I remembered. Uh, I, I remembered. All right, three, just two. Just, just, just. That, that intro is fine. Just. It's good. We're here! We are back. Oh my gosh! With Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Sam, yes. what happened last time? So much stuff. We learned that Roy Mustang isn't a just a murderer for no reason. He saved Ross. It was all a ploy. She was hidden away in the old town of Xerxes, where a lot of interest seems to be. People are interested in what happened back in the day. We got two accounts from Zing and what's our country's name? Amestris. Amestris. <laughs> we got we got two accounts of what happened in Xerxes from Amestris and Zing with similar parallels. The we... Eastern Sage and the Western Sage. Yes. Xerxes was destroyed and one man came from Xerxes. Correct. And then the Sinlings are conducting plans. They're releasing Chopper's real body to... Yeah. Chopper the false body, but the spirit intact. Uh, and followed up with Reza Hawkeye and Havoc. They're about to run into Gluttony. So Oof. things are shaping up to get wild. Sheesh. Freaking, gosh, there's so much stuff. I don't even know. Y'all know what happened oh. last. I don't have to fill y'all in. You know what ha is happening. We did. This is episode 19, Death of the Undying, by the way. We didn't even say that. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff happening. Death it's, of the Undying. I will say it's like we're, we're at exciting stuff, and I love it. Yes. So I just want to see this episode. We found out who killed Winry's parents. Who? who killed him? Who did it? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Will? Turn it back who on did you. it? Who done it? Scar. It was Scar. Scar did. A man with bandages on his face, but he had tattoos on his arm. Yeah. So, guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this arc that we're going through right now. Did it blow your mind like it blew my mind? Because it definitely blew my mind. Make sure you say a good morning or good night or good evening in your native tongue. Sup. And also, check out the Patreon. We got these a week in advance if you want to check it out. All our shows, as you can see right above us. And it's not a market substitute because Will's going to tell you what it actually is. A market substitute. A, a market <laughs> substitute. Guys, we're just reacting. I fucked that up. Watch, watch it somewhere else first. Come back to YouTube. Watch your boys' reactions. We're going to punch it. Ah! Shit. That scared me. Elizabeth. Hey! What's going on? Oh, no. No, no, no. Reese is fine. He's going to get triggered. You're going to tell us about oh, the thing you have? Oh. I'm going to stay an alchemist. Every video. Is it, is it's it a pocket actual? watch. No, it's a pocket uh, watch. Uh, you should have gotten my one. uncles. You should have gotten one that's like actually. You probably can buy one. This is where I would say send us. We need a PO box. <laughs> we do. Send us full metal merch, please. Barry told me the colonel's got a plan to smoke out some military guys he's been after. The ones from the fifth something or other. Oh, the fifth laboratory. Yeah. Al. I have to I go. gotta find him. Yeah. This could lead us straight to the person who killed Lieutenant Hughes. Mm. <gasps> hey, not so fast! Tell me your secret first! I'll tell you when I get back, okay? Oh, come on, that's so unfair! <laughs> I'll be back soon. Okay. Be careful. Just be careful. I will. Of course. I promise. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Damn. Oh! <laughs> Put the bullets in him. And it's time to reach you. 
Ugh. Oh, that ain't happening. Nice! Who's doggy? Her doggy. Yeah, her dog. Good dog. How do you like being eaten? Clack, 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 clack. Black him out of there. Alright, he's too Black fat. Ahead. Charge him. What's up, Pennywise? Gosh. Oh! oh. Nothing, that hurt. Nothing better than that snap, man. Nothing freaking. Damn, he got there fast. Yeah, he did. I barely made it. He's sweating, man. <sighs> Colonel? Why the hell did you leave your post? No matter what happened to us, you could still have kept your involvement a secret. That was the whole yeah. idea, right? But you just come waltzing in here, plain as day. Are you a <laughs> oh, yeah, the mother. <laughs> yep. Fine, that's it. I'm an idiot. Happy? Look at, oh, it's oh, like, yeah, alchemy yeah. morph. Yeah. Yep. Colonel, the target's on the move, sir! He just wants him dead so bad. Sergeant, don't leave a single trace. And you stay right by the sergeant's side, Hayate. Sir! Hayate. Somebody commented about the dog's name. There's uh, something cool si significance-wise. Tell me later. Let's just stay focused on the mission for now. Sir. Mm-hmm. I love her. Yeah, she's <laughs> awesome. She's bad. Yes, sir. Havoc. Smells like an ashtray. Are you trying to go after Mr. Hughes' murderer? Get in. You win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love him. He's such a good kid, man. Hop on, Barry. Don't let him get away. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> soul won't be able to rest. Not until I eviscerate that meatbag! Squad up! So do you think we can expect another appearance from that blubber beast back there? I doubt it. I scorched him off the ledge. Yeah, and I shot him in the head. Yeah. He didn't really seem to mind. Mm -hmm. He didn't have an Ouroboros tattoo, did he? He did! A tattoo? Well... Come on! On his tongue. Oh, did it. Put it together! In that case, we were probably dealing with a homunculus. Now Roy knows what they are now. Hold on a damn second. What are you saying, Al? That's just not possible. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? Until I got kidnapped by a homunculus. He called himself Greed. One thing he told me is that nothing is impossible. Yep. I know. I forgot people don't think it's a real thing. Yeah. I watched Greed get the top half of his head knocked off, but he was yes. perfectly fine a minute later. So go back right. and get I Blubber. Kill him. After what I just saw, I have to believe you. Uh -huh. Hold on. I ran your fat boy down to a bubbling puddle back there. <laughs> Are you telling me he's still alive? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Just a never-ending parade of freak slinging, huh? Why is he so scary? I think he might be the scariest one to me. He definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> My body ran in there. Seems to think it can hide from me. My body is hiding. Huh? The third lab. So this ties them directly to the military. That's all we need for now. We're pulling back. Well, you have fun with that. No, uh, you idiot. Uh, that psycho stormed the building. Yeah, it's a lucky day. Uh -huh. To see what happens. <laughs> oh, but if he dies. <laughs> I don't want any of your foreign old skin and bones. I gotta be a special reunion to get to. <laughs> We're hunting him down. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Uh, Colonel, stay back. The man who broke in is a deranged murderer. My men will handle his capture. Order your guards to seal off the exits. Yes, sir. Good boy. Yeek. <sighs> Please don't be shoddy with a time slayer. Oh, I'm so funny, oh. man. Please don't be Hohenheim Slayer, please. The Padre. How the hell are we supposed to find him? Because it's definitely underground and in Central. We're gonna have to split up. Yes, sir. And a lot of pipes lead to Hohenheim. Keep that on. Keep that on. It doesn't look like anybody's used this lab in a while. I guess not. What is this stuff? I have no idea. But whatever they 
did hear it was painful for some time. Yeah. Well, no. I Damn it. Oh. Babe, is that you? Oh, have it. That's why I said, like, I want him to know. Or her to know. And now you point a gun at me? You've got some nerve. What's her name, Celine? Solaris. Solaris. What's going on? Hey, Havoc. Damn it. The girl's got the tattoo. Yeah. First I've seen this here. <laughs> she didn't let him get that far. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that. See how she treats you so easily. You've always been a sucker for big boobs. <laughs> I can't help I can't. I love him. I love him. I'm a boob man myself, Havoc. <laughs> Tell me, do you know who Mace Hughes is? Oh, yes, he was quite the intelligent man, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. I only wish I'd had the opportunity to pick his brain. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be on your knees. Um. I want to know everything. Sorry to say. Oh, no. It's going to take more than you're capable of to make me get on my feet. <laughs> How merciless. Did you run? She's got evil fingers. You're a homunculus. Indeed. How very astute of you, she. But I doubt you've seen this one. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a philosopher's stone. I was created with this stone at my core. It's not just a legend, it's my heart. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> that was not called for. I do have feelings. Apart from a few things, I was made nearly identical to you. I am human. I've got a funny feeling the only reason you're telling us this is because you don't plan on letting us live. Yeah. It's such a shame. Damn. Uh, yep. Damn. Oh, gosh. Damn it. Oh. Uh, he's what? It ain't working. <laughs> We're just talking about that, too. Yep, yep. What are we going to do? She'll shred us with her freaky fingers. No, she made a big mistake. She flooded the room with water. A simple transmutation, and we've got hydrogen gas. Woo! Well, hell to the yeah! Come on! Bang! Boom, bye, y'all! Woo! Nice. All right. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of these guys start to pop up. Will we get sloth? Maybe. Full metal alchemist. Oh wow! Okay. Havoc. What a guy! Thought the episode was about the end. Full metal alchemist. Mind giving me a light? Exactly. Oh, right. You're all wet. <laughs> oh, well, those things will kill you. You know that? <laughs> She's dust. I definitely cremated her. How do you know for sure, sir? The stench. Ugh. I'm pretty familiar with that stink by now. Yeah. Even yeah. the time you spent in Ishval? For all we know, she could still regenerate. So stay alert. Yes, sir. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, you're paralyzed. Frick. Woo! She crazy! Maniac! No, he's not! Let's go! And run while you do it! There's nothing you can do that'll kill me. Then you won't mind! Oh no, I like lost though. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's the thumbnail for this episode, by the way. I needed to save Havoc. Wow. I don't know that much about medicinal alchemy, but this should amplify my abilities. Whoa. Oh no! Shy! <laughs> she literally the philosopher's stone. No, <laughs> he's not dead. I don't believe it. He ain't pranking me anymore. Who is it? The Fiora? We're after if it's. Yeah. All right, we need Ling. I know it's coming. Get Ling up in this joint right now, dude. I prefer to handle it on my own. 
Oh, of course. fuck. <laughs> I told you. Maybe, maybe he will kill Lost to sell the lie. That would work, because yeah. we get to keep Roy. Oh, she's dead. Fury's gonna kill her. It's like the best way to sell a lie. Dumbass. My body is damn near entirely decayed. I guess a body just can't hold up with someone else's soul being shoved inside of it. Mm. Mm. <sighs> if a soul is incompatible with another person's body, wouldn't it be the same for a soul bonded to a suit of armor? If that's right, there's no guarantee I'll be able to stay in this form long enough to get our old bodies back. Damn. Brother. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna show up, Lusty. <laughs> Number 66. Care to explain why you're helping the Colonel? I thought it'd be fun to switch things up. Mm -hmm. Besides, I've wanted to chop you up since I met you. You're such a handful, 66. <laughs> and I'm sad to see you here, Armor Boy. You just had to tag along. Talk about a setback. It's bad enough to lose one. But now you're forcing me to kill a second candidate. Candidate? A second one? Yeah. You and Mr. Gallantry. That's enough of the casual chit-chat dust! All I want to hear from you is screaming! Ah, oh, Barry! Damn. Oh, rest in peace, a real one, bro. Yeah. He tried. It wasn't good enough. Damn. I do hate overconfident men. Now then, where were we? I think I was about to send a lieutenant to join her superior. Maybe the Fuhrer kills her now? Wait a minute. So when you said you'd already had to kill someone... Have it can't it. be. You didn't! <laughs> you bitch! I just got goosebumps for that. <gasps> Her voice acting is amazing. Let's go, Colleen! Click and beard! <laughs> Pop off! It only means so much at a certain point. <clears throat> Nothing! <laughs> Let's go! Sledgehammer. Maybe. Oh cool. It appears you've opened a portal. Damn. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, no, wait. You are a perfect candidate. Fuck. Oh, no way! Listen, Alphonse. Leave me. Get up! No. Run! I won't! Go! I won't leave you! Ha! <laughs> I'll come back. Oh! That's so bad. He's using the flip for ignition, and he carved a transmutation circle into his hand. Oh! <laughs> that won't work. That's great. I seared the wound closed. Oh! I came close to passing out from the pain. Damn! See ya, Chica. Woo! I'd like to try and prove you wrong. So let's see how many times 
Put him down. Oh my god. Burner! <laughs> oh, that's badass. <laughs> the voice. Gosh! Oh my god. That's horrible. Whoa, that animation. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, the finger. Dude. Stone Cold Killer, bro. Stone Cold. You killed me. I hate losing. Ow. But there are worse ways to die than at the hands of a man like you. I love how cold and focused your eyes are. <laughs> You, if you're taking your slow ass time. Are you all right? Forget about me. We need to get you some help. Thanks, Alphonse. Thank you for looking after my subordinate. Yeah, sure. We need to call you a doctor. Oh, yeah. Hurry. Call a doctor for Alec. Thanks. I wasn't here. Nothing to see. Weird. Weird. I don't know how he's gonna try to hide that info it's now. All right. It's all right. He's all fucked up. Uh, hey, I'm mm. home now. Josh. Go, 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 go. Falls on. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> no! I can't put it back on! We can't put it back on! Holy moly! That was way too damn close! <gasps> I hope no shot! Me. Oh, they didn't hit him! Let's go! Gonna put himself away. Oh. Why'd you gotta punch an open wound, dude? Put the rest for real this yeah. time. Yeah. Where was Ed this whole time? In Xerxes. Back from Xerxes. Okay, right, right, right. Who dead? Oh! I was about to say, do they have another brother? Because it looks like him. Oh. The man. The myth. The Hoenn. The Hein. Oh my god, I just realized that, too. I saw Ed walking, I was like, wait! He sees El Poppy! That was episode whatever. 19, Death of the Undying, y'all! Good wrap-up to the arc. Yeah. I would assume it's the wrap-up of the arc, mm -hmm. if I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, where to start? We start off with the tower. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gluttony, getting blocked over and over again in the head by Riza, mm -hmm. accompanied by Doggy and Roy, and a random guy with glasses. Yeah. One, of, one of Roy's guys. Yeah, random guy. Don't care about him. <laughs> Sergeant, be <coughs> respectful. It's Mr. Sergeant, sir. Um, That's Mr. Doctor Professor. And they learn more than I got I forgot that only Al knew about the Al and Ed and Izumi knew about the um monkey lie. monkey lie of 
of which they are a lot harder to kill than expected. Mm-hmm. Because they are hu- artif- mm, what is it? They are man-made humans. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Aren't supposedly. Humans man-made? Artificially man-made humans. Yeah. Um Yeah. Huh. I don't know what they're going to do with that info. I would have assumed that Ed and Al just kind of shared that. So that's interesting because the Fuhrer chose to stay out of it. But there is info that is definitely spread to a lot more people. And now people have literally seen Lust and Gluttony in action. They haven't seen en- Envy or what he can do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. There is something about Gluttony. That uh, just... Ed and Al and Ross and Brosh have seen Envy. Envy's the one that brought Ed out of mm-hmm. the collapsing building. Yes. Just they not have, his abilities. They like have pictures said. of them. Yeah. They, they've, they've sketched them. They just don't know what he can do, which is the biggest problem mm-hmm. because he's, he's literally the Hughes murderer. Yeah. Um, but weird that Envy wasn't here when you would have thought Envy would have needed to be here. I wonder why they specifically, maybe they don't want to blow the cover of what they're using to kill people or conceal, aka the power that Envy possesses. Um, Are you saying that because most of the time we've seen Lust and Envy together? To be fair, Lust and uh, Lust and Gluttony have been mostly together, but Envy has joined as of episode three at the start of the show, so I would have just assumed he would have also been here, but then the plot would have had to mm-hmm. move a bit faster because then you can link some pieces that the show probably doesn't want linked yet, mm-hmm. uh, a.k.a. the resolve of Hughes' death. Mm-hmm. Um, also, Envy probably poses a bigger threat than just a killing machine like Lust. Because you can do a lot more for the bad guy side with the power that Envy has. I mean, it's like one of the ultimate things to have is somebody who can be anybody. So I would assume Gluttony will die before Envy dies if we're supposed to see these people disappear. Yeah. Or come back. Because y'all like Greed, and he got off pretty quick. So I don't think two episodes is enough to keep a, an, impre- an impression for a show that has 40-some episodes. True. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, th- I thought he was cool, but not cool enough to leave an impression, so he's probably coming back. So I- I'll expect to see him, maybe even Lost Return, but I'm looking forward more to Greed first. But this is all very, this is all, uh, okay, so, sorry, you guys tell me something. You you, you left <laughs> off with Talk. Roy Talk. now <laughs> knows that they're homunculi. Well, but, I mean, before that, we had the fight, we had the fight at the tower, you mm-hmm. know, our good boy Roy showed up just in time. Yep. Saved reason. You know, got the... And the sergeant got the snap right in there. Mm-hmm. Um, they get the drive over. Chase down... Uh, what's it called? Who's body? Barry's Barry. body. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's where we get the homunculus info. And now we've made it to the third laboratory, which connects the military to... Directly to... Directly the to the homunculuses. I, I just want to say I love that Roy is like he relied on Barry a lot. I love that. I thought it was so cool. Yeah. I I don't personally see how they were able to just. I feel like that was just an assumption. Like that uh, we're going off of like an assumption right now. I don't know why the creature running to one building that would because well, it, it ran back to its home essentially. Yeah, it, I, it, I it guess is, if it, that's what they want to like. If that's what we're saying. Okay, but like, all right, ju- well, just for example, if you have a dog, most dogs, I'm sure you have some explorative, yeah. more adventurous dogs, but if you had a dog and it's running oh, around, it's going to go back to its house. It's sure. not going to, he ran past 50,000 buildings probably mm-hmm. that he could have hit in, but he mm-hmm. decides to go to the military laboratory, Fair point. which Fair is point. also next to the one that we know, or, you know, the third laboratory next to the fifth, which we already know the fifth is tied with. Yeah. Our gang, yeah, it's uh, a it's a strong lead. For I sure, would compare yeah. it to a wild animal is injured. It's probably going to go back to its home, its cave or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's shelter. Yeah, it makes sense. But we also don't know how that thing operates. I mean, it could yeah. have like a alchemy spell tied to it. That's mm-hmm. like that must too. return home oh, at night. Speaking of that, you wanted to see the symbol. Yeah, we can go to the symbol while you're doing that. I was just gonna say, Gluttony is super intimidating to me. Scary, at least terrifying. I don't know why. It's um easily the scariest. Yeah. Well, normally when you have combatants, it's always like the big person versus the quick person. Those are like the two forms of strength. One is like slow though. So there's something I don't know if Gluttony operates fast. Like I haven't really seen him fight, but if that thing moves fast and has that weight behind it, that is some very creepy 
thoughts to think of. I mean, in fairness, we I don't know if we've really seen him move move like we that. We have. But in, but in the intro, at least, he's moving pretty fucking fast. He's flopping up around intro. a bit, yeah. I was just looking at him. He's, he, one, he's creepy as hell, being a big baby. I mean, he's like the size of Izumi. Oh, he's not as big as Izumi's husband, but pretty darn big. Also, he eats people, so that's also another big factor. But yeah, so they got back to the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The... The lab and they were able to Third laboratory yeah. they were able to make a little plan real quick to give them a reason to enter because barry just storms on in he wants to get his final kill <laughs> yeah sold arrest and we see that they've been doing some sketchy lab work on unsuspecting hosts yeah some yeah. gruesome stuff some gruesome prongs and scalpels and alchemy and lo and behold, so, Lust is just chilling. Havoc is surprised. Havoc died. Did Havoc die? I think Havoc's dead. I, yeah, do, I don't know if I we mean, ever went back to him. They, they never went back to him. They, they asked to get Havoc a doctor, so we haven't... To be determined. Him. But he did definitely pass out, because he was not responding to Roy. Yeah. I'm surprised that kind of resolved as fast as it did. I thought, I thought his involvement with Lust was going to lead to something a bit greater. Maybe it still will, if he survives. If not... That ended quick. Quick yeah. relationship. Mm-hmm. I want. I do wonder about that though. Like, what was the choice? What was the reason behind getting those two to date each other? Because right now there hasn't. Ha- been... I love them so much. Yeah, well, that's the only scene that's come out of it. But I, I'm, I'm hoping to think there's a bit more than just the comedy bit. If it's that, well, well, so be it. I mean, she was keeping tabs on, Ro- like in the previous episodes. She told Envy she was going on her date, and she was get you know because we She's saw the date. Information we saw Havoc the date now. and Havoc Loki spell. Oh, like you know, I'm going on the secret mission with like my boss or something. I feel like he at some point he like without really saying a lot, he given it's enough, enough for her if she knows enough what for her his because she is. yeah enough for her because she knows the situation already. Given yeah. timetables and everything. Yeah, all right, fair enough. So I mean, it was just an inside like, what is Roy Mustang doing now? Yeah, so we got. Three squares with triangles on them. It's a the door. That we're looking at the. I'll, I'll probably I'll, I'll I'll put it up. Bunch of words: Peter, Abavo, Estor, Etor. Wait, oh, you're up there. Okay. Yeah, working our way down to more words. I don't know. Sun, where like Philippus, like a tree or like smoke or snow. Well, it's like a snowy tree going to the sun. A tor. I don't really know what's happening. It's like the moon on the other side, but it looks like whatever's coming out of the the star, the pentagram, it's con- oh, consuming the moon, but not the sun. I don't know. Maybe. Like oh, maybe. Oh, no. Going there. Yeah, it's like it's absorbing, pushing, yeah. absorbing the sun going towards the moon. Yeah. Fire. Are you sure it's not the other way around? Absorbing the moon and going towards the sun? It could be no, that, too. Oh, it I, could I, be I, like a rocket. To me, it looks like... It's going down. Well, it could be like the flames. It could be energy propulsing That's out of the sun. In. But it That's could also out. be a rocket. You know how a rocket shoots up and things can fly the opposite mm-hmm. way out of it? So it could be that. Because on the right, it looks like, for the moon, it looks it's like smoke in. being sucked in. And the sun, it looks it looks like a rocket trail. Huh. Um, three things are at the center. And three things at the bottom. It's the three things at the bottom. female symbol with like a hook. Yes. On top. Like a fish kind of, hook. Kind of look like little people with funny hair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but now is a good time to just say, because I haven't said this to Adam, but I told, told Will I figured this out. The story that they share in Xerxes um, with both the Zing perspective the and the other, the Western, Western people's Eastern. perspective, is uh, that's Hohenheim. Really? It's Hohenheim. Hmm. Interesting. And you can't lie to that's me. You, that's your perspective it's, that you think it's Hohenheim. No, it's a Hohenheim for sure. <laughs> They, they ain't playing with me because I went to go get it on the thumbnail and it's a man in a white robe def- with a uh, chin strap, a blonde chin strap. So it definitely I, is illustrated like Hohenheim. Maybe. It's <laughs> it's definitely Ed's perspective and it would be weird for Ed to give perspective of a man who looks very similar to his own father, which is also very weird because this is Ed's perspective of the story and he's putting his father figure as the... Or a person who looks just like his own father in the image, which is very weird. Hohenheim... The second Xerxes is destroyed, was able to go to west and east and spread alchemy and alka history. Maybe three. There's three images. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, I, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, yeah. whatever is happening, I just think it's Hellenheim. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason I said that is it helps me double down my theory about 
Xerxes, because it probably insinuates that... Yeah, I have to remember all the stuff I told you, is that uh, Hohenheim's at least 200 years old, because he created Greed, who's 200 years old, which means he's probably a lot older, which means he might have been as old as whenever the civilization of Xerxes was around, which means he's either immortal... I thought immortal. they said it was like a thousand years ago. Yeah, so, so maybe he's a thousand, maybe he's immortal, maybe he's long-living, like I've already insinuated. But it 100% confirms my own theory about what they might be doing at Armistice? What Amestris. is Amestris. Amestris, about like a giant ritual. Mm -hmm. Because symbol here, that's like, I mean, it's a circle. It's not a, it's not exact copy. But the other the other symbols we've seen at the Fifth Laboratory and Xerxes it, is a lot closer to... It's a circle to, with a... I don't, yeah. I don't know the name of that shape. There's two sides here, so side like, here, and side all here. These, all the rituals that these guys do, even... Oh. Roy on his hand is all circular, and the city's a mm. circle, so I don't know if Xerxes was a circle. It's impossible to know, because it's a, on a desert. I was saying, I was predicting, maybe the desert's literally a result of, like, you did. Mm -hmm. no, like glassing. The, yeah. Like that yeah, you said that last episode. I did? Yep. Yeah, you did. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, I won't say that again. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, you said it's like Valeria. Yeah, Valeria, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have nothing else, but... Do, do you remember the symbol that Ed saw on the wall? In Xerxes? It's the same symbol that it's you saw in the Fifth Laboratory. Fifth laboratory yeah. That's what I was saying. Well, that one, it had a sun and two <clears throat> dragon heads. It had a sun on one side and two dragon heads. And I don't yeah. see dragons here. Well, this is a completely different symbol. That's what I was going to say. I was like, yeah. this thing is definitely completely yeah. different mm -hmm. than... So, yeah, yeah, I just, I just wanted to pause means. just because I want to get quick glances at these things. Yeah. I like this. It's like visual diarrhea. It's really cool. Hmm. Um... But yeah, so uh, Lust leaves the two after beating them to the pulp and yeah. killing or almost killing Havoc, Havoc, as we don't know, and kill and killing Roy. Yeah. Um, to then go and finish off Barry, um, Hawkeye, Hawkeye, and Alphonse. Alphonse. Yeah. Um, she takes down Barry with ease. Rize is losing it. Because she thinks that phenomenal, Roy is dead. Phenomenal voice acting. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she just tr poured everything she could into killing Lust, but it didn't work out. And no. and Al had his stand of, I'm not letting anyone else die. I'm not right. watching anyone yeah. else die and not doing anything. God shredded himself. And our boy, the king, the colonel himself, came in and... Turned her into ash after like thirty fire blows. Yeah, and more important than anything, the biggest reveal of the episode is she's literally a philosopher stone. There you go. Yes. That's too. Yes, I forgot. They tried that. to kill her, and the center of her was a stone. Yep. And then when Roy oh, grabbed also, it, there's that too. He, he ripped it out. She ripped it out of her. That's what I mean. She's literally a philosopher stone. Like, I think she's literally. The stone is her heart. She said. I mean, she's produ all the bodies produced from it. From it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, crazy. She grew from his hand. And yet, even that one died in the end. That Philosopher's Stone perished in the end. I don't Facts. know how that works. Yeah. It got torched too long. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't get it, but okay. This is a lot. So... Wasn't greed, like, melted? They melted greed in the yeah. pot. And yeah. then Father drank the blood, which is probably Philosopher's Stone goo. Philosopher's Stone Goo. Yeah, I mean, if they're all... F he's probably created each of them through mass killings. Ah, but why does he drink them, then? Well, they were made from him. He they said, did say he that. He was like, oh, right. turn to me now. Yeah. Greed, my son, or something like that. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Shoot. Um, I... Mm, I don't know. I'm just going to throw a quick theory out just for the fun of it. Go the for three it. things on the bottom are three locations, and each of them, in those yellow triangles, there's little those little symbols. Maybe each of these are like locations, like the Fifth Laboratory, Xerxes, and something else that are like, I don't know, maybe like towered vessels that you have to go to whenever they start doing this reckoning. Mm. I don't know. I feel like the father or something in regards to the father is the center symbol. And that at some point, Hohenheim will try to absorb one of these, absorb the moon and channel the sun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I, I, the three throws me off. I feel like he's one and then his two sons are the other ones. But he has, like, theoretically, like, or what we know of 
Because they are six kids. Hohenheim has six. Kids? Oh, you're talking about oh. now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who do you think I was talking about? Uh, well, you kept saying father. I was thinking yeah. homunculus. Yeah. Who's the homunculus from father? Oh, no, you no, meant no, no. The, you thought the, the siblings. siblings. The oh, singling. You're singling. Sing- 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 oh no, no. I, I think the three is probably Hohenheim, Ed, and Al. Sorry, I'm I'm following now. I'm following now. Um, that would make sense because they are apparently already sacrifices. Where Roy is a, is did they say Roy is a potential? Sacrifice? Well, she said that because he she had to kill him. Yeah, they, but she called them. She called Al and him when they were going to die candidates. Yeah. Yeah, I just know that prior they had mentioned Roy as a sacrifice yeah. or mm-hmm. a potential sacrifice. So I don't know if he's already a sacrifice, and I still don't really know what that means either. Yeah. But I know for sure Ed and Al are sacrifices post something that occurred. So I don't know. Maybe he needs the the children, his son and other son, to do one task, the other task, and then him at the center absorbs it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um. Question for you two. Yeah. Do you think that's Latin? It is. It's it pig, is pig Latin, right? Or just standard Latin? Pig Latin. Latin. Yes. <laughs> Ignore that comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's Latin. That's staying in. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Latin. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pig Latin is uh. That's why you take the first letter of the word. Mike Wazowski does. Look me in the egg bag. You take the first letter of the word and put it back. For a second, I had, I had it flipped. I thought one was the original. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, what did you guys think when you watched this episode? I know you were hyped for it. <sighs> this is probably my, my top five favorite episodes. I, th- I, st- I think I still like last ones more, just yeah, because good. the reveal just this absolutely shook me. Mm-hmm. Um, this one was definitely a solid follow-up, though. and a good, Maybe a good wrap-up if the arc is done. I don't know how the this whole show operates. I know there's not really like a season to this, so the format's a bit different. Yeah. It's... Do you... Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, it's weird. Like, I, I mean, when I watched it, it was already all out at that point. But, like, it just... I feel like I watched it on Netflix, too, and it's literally just... Like, it doesn't even say, like... I think it broke it down into five parts, actually. It did, yeah. Yeah, on Netflix. But Netflix always does things weird, so I don't know if that's, like, how it's intended. It's like... Yeah. You know Some of I mean? our commenters were like, don't follow that guideline. So I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, it is what it is with that. I mean, it might just be... Uh, to me, I just view it as one long season. It could, it could be exactly. based off the years that they made. At least, them. at least a part one and a part two. Well, maybe, maybe the five that Netflix attempted was to show the year gaps in between. Because obviously, Possibly. some of these people need some time off from yeah. doing the production. I, I, I mean, just, even I on like it. iTunes, if you go to buy these episodes, it'll say volume season one, volume one through twelve, yeah. Yeah. episode thirty six. It's yeah. it's very dumb and confusing on iTunes. Well, I think too, like. Hmm. I think too, like the difference of, um, like at least for me in this show, I don't know how you you feel about this as of yet, Sam, because technically we are still like first season territory. But I feel like the show doesn't ever feel different. Like you know how when you're watching like Attack on Titan, like you feel spo- spoiler, but like not just production upgrade, but like you the the show feels different from season one, yeah, season well, two, season. Well, three, that, that's what I meant. Remember. Like this show to me, I feel like. Just has the same like feel the whole way through yeah. with a solid like it's not that they like oh like the the budget never gets better they definitely do some things better mm-hmm. later on but it just feels all the yeah very well. well how I was gonna like break it down is like when you watch a show and then you have the halfway mark at like Christmas time and then the second half just continues where you left off like there's not not like a here's what the focus of the story of is now break different focus on the story it yeah. continues it except every half or like i guess the period in which they would work to create the episode is just the the christmas season and we yeah. just have to continue the story wherever we left off whenever they come back for production yeah. um yeah which is i mean that's unique it's a unique style of how they wanted to do it which is interesting i mean with other shows that we watch i mean it's more it's more common to have season one story season two is very different where it's more mystery focused and season three is like guns blazing type of show. It's com- And a lot of times for the shows we watch, it always feels like completely different. And we mm-hmm. always say, this doesn't feel like the same show. Yeah. feels like, the- uh, well, not in a bad way, but like. I like the terminology arc. Yeah. Arcs is a proper term. Yeah. Different things you're dealing with. I, and I'm, normally things get wrapped up within those arcs yeah. almost completely. Which this, 
it just seems like it's just gonna be ever ongoing just snowballing just like yeah. life there are no really arcs yeah when I watch the show a phase. Um, no, just a phase I don't really know like when Netflix started the whole streaming thing but when I watch this I don't and I also don't know when like anime really started to come to streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and all that I feel like it's the more recent thing but I watch this on like watchcartoononline.com or some like illegal website to watch for like this reasons show. that's a joke <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I watched yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. I just loved all the innuendos this episode. Where Lust where they're like, Hey, your girlfriend has a Ouroboros tattoo on her chest and Lust is like, It's not polite to stare, you know. As she and then uh, the whole like, is her boobs. I yeah. love that. She's whole, so fun. When she reforms around his hand and she's like, You know you should take a girl on a date before you put your hand in her shirt or her chest. She's great. I, I don't want her to be dead. I was actually worried when I saw her go down. And now she's actually dead. I'm yeah. still hopeful. The, Maybe I would do want her more than Greed to be back. I thought see. the hardest line from this is when he, he, Roy is like, get on your knees, and she gets shot. And he's like, She's like, it's going to take a lot more than that to get me on my knees, and then she gets shot. And then Roy comes back and is like, turns out I can get you on your knees. <laughs> Fucking love that line. That's so tough. The animation was cool, by the way. During yeah, that you night, liked it uh, when she zoomed in. Yeah, it lo- it's very different from I feel what I've seen in the animation of this show. Yeah. I, don't yeah. wanna, I don't really... I'm not uh, knowledge filled in that department. <laughs> so I don't know. Knowledge how it, filled. I was going to say knowledgeable, but I don't think that's a word either. Um, You're not educated in that field. I'm really not. Uh, but I just thought it looked cool. I, I don't know what it was. She flew through the ashes and it just looked completely different in the style. Yeah. And even him. Even as she was being burned. Well, even how he looked. The production looked like they spent a pretty budget, on, uh, pretty penny on that. Fucking scene. six pack. Looking like all my like had a, that, yeah. he had like a fifty. Well, yeah, the, his, injury. Uh, his injury. That's all I was thinking of. He had to burn it. Yeah, to sear it closed. Up. Almost passed out from the pain. Oh, and I love that he put the symbol. He had on to his carve hand. it on his hand. Genius, because yeah. that's easier to wipe off than cloth getting water off. Mm-hmm. You can get that spark right and ready. Or yeah, I just like needs to like attach too, the yeah. Iron Man flame right here and just always have something ready to go. Yeah, so they still haven't. Have they explained that how he actually gets the spark? I Is it the no glove? Idea. The glove. It, he needs the transmutation circle in order to do the the spark, and it. I feel like it is the the snap. It's like flint. it's something in the glove. He, he was yeah. saying it's literally like the, she said it in this episode. She's like, oh, so you use it like flint to, you know, spark the fire. Yeah, that's, that's essentially maybe, what it maybe, yeah, maybe the material. I don't know. Well, maybe. no, but I th- no, it's literally the transmutation circle. Like that. That's on what an, it is. on an object changes it to. Uh, well, flint. like it gives the imbi- the ability to act as if flint. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Well, just because he didn't, he wasn't snapping here. Well, I mean, he, he, he had to use, he had to get the spark from the lighter to create fire. Yeah, but, yes, no, because he doesn't you, have a flint. You have the gas there, but you need like so when you light something, it uses something to create a spark. Like it, like or if you were sitting in the woods and you were making a fire, take flint. And you, yeah. and it spreads the spark. And then you can take it and ignite it. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. that's what the glove is doing. Yeah, he doesn't need to like snap, but that's just like his motion. Yeah. of how he does it. That's mm-hmm. why he had the flame itself. So he has the fuel, and the and the transmutation circle is just the ignition. But, yeah, that's dope. I like this episode a lot. I really love this it. episode so much. Yeah, I'm excited to see more. Yeah. They uh, the show's just ongoing and it's unpredictable a lot of times and it's fun and sometimes predictable until they prove that it, I wasn't predicting it correct. So many times, many times. So guys, well, we have to say we love Rip you. Butcher. Oh no, Rip Barry. Yes. I'm sorry, Rip. homie. You are a phenomenal character. Love you. Look, he redeemed himself. He did. It, it is, I mean, not really. Did. It he is really poetic, redeemed, He didn't redeem himself. He, like, helped us. Mm-hmm. Like, but, yeah. I like how I, I couldn't out. find the word how, like... like oh, I was gonna say, like, it's ironic that he killed himself or something like that, but no, it's very poetic that he yeah. took himself out. His little doggy form came back and found yeah. him and just wiped it him away. It was crying. You wiped, saw that? Wiped him away. It was crying. Poor things. They both no, died together. Well, they were probably in the torturous state. I mean, yeah. him not having a feeling and the other being a mindless freaking animal. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. I loved it. He was like, I don't just want to be a slab of metal. Somebody please find me. Yeah. He was fun, though. I liked, I I liked his carelessness to not listen and do what he wants, and then people make a plan around him. Yeah. It's very fun. And then he, like, supported the, like, the good guys, too. 
damn, the Fuhrer didn't do anything this episode. I was like, <laughs> are we getting that Ling fight? I'm still yeah, looking for it. I was confused. Why were you saying that the Fuhrer was going to kill Lust? It, it makes sense. Uh, like, let's just, let's just say that info is getting spread. Because uh, even think of this episode alone. Lust was saying stuff. And they were like, why are you telling us this? Is it because you think you're going to uh, kill well, us? Because we, we're not going to survive this. But that's the yeah. thing. Lust, that's a cocky move to reveal part of the plan thinking that they're going to die. Because if they don't die, it's the plan running off. So I thought the Fuhrer... Because also think of it this way. The Fuhrer is somebody who, in my opinion, is low-key sus. He has sus behavior and the boys have already maybe seen it from him. So what's the best thing to do? Kill the Play girl along. who kill the girl who's working with you. I mean, mafia member in a mafia game killing they do. another mafia. I do. I always hate that about mafia. No, but that's Sorry, a great sidebar. thing. But that 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 gives you layers for people to believe that you're a good guy. If a bad guy kills a bad guy, you're not gonna immediately think the other guy's a bad guy. You're gonna be like, oh, what a hero! Thank you yeah. for saving me. So I was like, I could see it. Didn't happen. She still died. Yeah, but that would have made sense if yeah. if that had happened. Yeah, and I thought he he, he was going in so. It made sense in the moment, but... Changes my last second. Which is smart, because t- time had passed, and the d- deed was already done. D- I, d- d- I mean, d- I'm thinking, like, flip it around, he helps Lust, and just, like, as yeah. guards come in, be like, oh, the killer got away, I'm, uh, but, you see, she, the person got me. I, yeah, but, that's, but that's in front of, Al. like, Al and them. And Al- help them get killed. Help Lust kill them all. Well, but, but Al's a sacrifice, and they've said he's... Even important. Lust said, now I have to kill a potential sacrifice. Well, but see... Maybe she's messy. That's the thing, too. I feel like Lust kind of just... Spilled like, The one thing that's weird about them is, like, they all seem to have, like, the same goal, but they all kind of do act their on thing. their own. Yeah. Except yeah. for Greed, because Greed ran away to do his own thing, mm-hmm. like, literally. But like it seems like they all have the same goal, but kind of act on their own accord without really, like... Someone to be in charge, which is where I would yes. feel like I would feel like the Fuhrer personally would be more like a the leader. This is the plan. Yeah. Like we're doing this yes. kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that would make sense why he would come in and be like, "You're fucking up the plan. Yeah. You didn't fin- You didn't control this okay. from the beginning. So I'm just gonna kill you so we can keep the plan going. That's how I would have. Yeah. Viewed it. All right. And Not I definitely just... feel like the Fuhrer is a lot more intelligent. Where gluttony, envy, and lost this the past like fourteen episodes feels. Very inconsistent in what they want to get done. They just act on like a whim, and a lot of it seems like it's yeah on a whim and like as long as we get the task generally done, we're yeah. okay. Like they seem a bit sloppy, like they just let things play out, and sometimes it doesn't. They have a seem narrow like road, but there keeps being side roads. Personally, Gluttony doesn't really look like he has a brain. He doesn't. I eat. And Envy's a little Last bit night. obsessed with other things. Like who? Be envy. Envy. Feel like he spends his time in just enjoying stealing other people's personalities instead of his own. Because uh, greed even like mocked him, said, "Why don't you show your true form? You cut like you fake, <laughs> or something That's like true. that." And he's like, "What are you doing?" So, I want to see where sloth is. I want to see why I have to keep keep him busy. Why can't he be just slothful? What happens if he is slothful? We don't get the job done. Yeah. I don't care. I want to see what he does if he's just being slothful. Guys, man, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below about what you thought of this arc in particular. Uh, try not to spoil. If you do, make sure you say spoil, dot, dot, dot. Say what you want to say uh, so we can check them out. Or at least these guys can check them out. Um, check out the Patreon if you want to see these a week in advance. We got these all available. Uh, you already know what we're talking about. Vinland Saga, JJK, Squid Games, and this show. So do that. And for the time being, we'll see you in the next video. Punch it. Bye. Bye.